What's going on, y'all? So it's going to be a run of my Hyper Plus 2. You guys know this is a 7-scale truck guy from Mobile. So um, what I did for here was I changed out the tires and wheels. You guys know originally it comes with 20-millimeter hexes. I put some 17s on it. I ran the Arma um, uh, 8S crate, or sorry, 6S Creighton um, tires and wheels on it from the version 3. And then I just recently switched it out to these tires and wheels um, from the low C3 XL. Now these are a set of used ones that I had. I had to actually trim some of the inside so that um, it could fit on here kind of without rubbing. Having a little delay there with some stuff. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to see what that is. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this run. Hopefully everything is yeah, good with it. Okay, my steering's all right. <laughs> I don't know. Now I still have yet to put any... Uh, Oil in that center diff, so we are going to see some ballooning of the tires. But I figured the low C3 XLE can handle this, so can handle these tires, so I'm pretty sure this should be okay with it. It does have that ballooning going on. Whoa, whoa, we don't want to scrape my body all up. It means it's time to go off road with it. <laughs> Almost got a wheelie going. Hold on. I gotta see if I can do one. There we go. Ah, ha, ha. See how big them tires got? Alright, let's go ahead and walk up here and take this off road. So sometimes people ask me why do I run in certain particular areas that are the same. One reason why I like running over here is because the grass can be really thick and when my car is really dirty. The grass kind of acts like a brush and it cleans my cars off. And I do I do this a lot, especially as I run them in like dirt, especially dirt. Um, you can take them to a real grassy area um, and have your truck or car run through it. And it'll help clean off some of that stuff on it. So. Now I did not run it that I can recall up here with the Creighton tires and wheels. They're over there racing out here, revving up. Ooh, that jumped pretty straight and smooth. Didn't even try to get a lot of air, it was just straight jumping at So it could definitely, I, I'm, I'm a beat a dead horse until I do it. And it's kind of remind myself, it could definitely use for some more, or some thicker oil, or just oil in general in that front differential and in the rear as well but especially in the front so which when I get around to doing everything else I gotta do I'll I'll do it. Oh I get up on that curse. I actually I'm gonna say I like the way it performed a little bit better with the Creighton tires and wheels. Nothing against these. They didn't balloon as much, but they were a little bit smaller. So, and of course, these are used. I mean, these are not like the Creighton ones weren't, but these were really worn down. These tires are like a year and a half old. It's still performing well, though. But. I actually hear that little creaking noise you guys hear. It's probably why I didn't trim enough on the inside of the wheel to keep it from rubbing, but if it didn't get trimmed enough earlier, it is now. I still have yet to find the perfect fit 17 millimeter foot. I'm gonna get some door track ones. I'm just trying to figure out which ones I'm gonna get. That jumps good. That angle jumps real good. I like that. I wanna jump into my car, my real car. <laughs> But I will say these low C3 XLE tires and wheels, they look good. And I haven't had too many issues with them. I mean, I've had these on here for a while and they have not come off the wheel, which is a good thing. 
on these or even on my 3XLE, so. Yeah, I almost hit myself. That would not have been good. <laughs> I would have had that Peter Griffin, ah, ah, rubbing on my knee, <laughs> on my shin. And it's cold out here too. So I like y'all ain't never hit y'all stuff with your RC car, especially when it's been cold outside. Whew. Landing pretty hard there, but it's still jumping better. Uh, make sure my ESC, because y'all know last time I did that, my ESC came loose. Ended up getting some wires chewed up. Uh, let's see real quick. I know y'all like, just pause the video. It's all good. <laughs> we don't want to see all that. I see how smooth that jumped. Oh my god! And I wasn't even trying to hit it that hard. That was 50%. And that's not even a big jump jump. Make sure this car ain't going over here. I could possibly probably try to do a backflip, but I'm not going to try it. Oh, I almost had it. Now I gotta go get it. All right, we're back. So I've run this a lot more, I guess, as I'm running this. Jibber jab for a minute. Then what I've filmed, and it's been a solid truck, guys. I haven't had any issues with it besides when I first got and had to change out um, those tires and wheels. They really were, they really were affecting the performance. Um, so that's the one thing you're gonna have to think about with this. It may be okay on 4S, but when you go to 6S, and the ready to run version may be a little bit different because I am running something different than what comes in its stock. I am running a higher um, KV motor, so that could probably affect it somewhat, but. But it's been solid. I mean, part support, that's another thing. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't found really too much where you can find parts for it yet, but it hasn't broken, and it's, I don't know, in the mid 40s here right now and I've run it in the 40s and stuff and I haven't really had anything break or anything on it but that's to not say something won't break but yeah y'all hear that clicking that's just the inside of those wheels rubbing so it's not a differential or anything There you go, lay on your feet. All right, y'all. It's going to be a run of this. I had to get this out again and show this to you guys with these tires and wheels on it. I'll probably end up getting some of the door track ones, probably some of the hatches or something for it. Um, but we'll see. I've just got to take a picture of this and then Photoshop some tires and wheels and put it next to it to see what it's going to look like. And also look at some size and dimensions as well. But so far, this has been good, too. I know it's a little bit more expensive especially this one this is going to run you close to about 600 bucks as um a roller almost ready to run you don't get electronics with it and then the ready to run was like about 100 bucks more so that's you guys think about that as you think make a purchase for it. but it's been a good solid truck thus far so anyway i'm going to run this a lot more and then i'll be giving you guys kind of some first run thoughts on it as well um as far as what i think you guys should do if you get this truck some modifications and stuff to it um, that you'll have to do of course it's going to be diff oil and then you got to think about the tires and wheels and stuff as well but everything else has been fine with it so anyway don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching